everybody welcome back to my channel my name is maria if you're a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell that way you will receive updates every time there is a new video so today still on parenting we'll be discussing two points one is cursing parents please try as much as possible not to curse around your kids or even abuse them we talked about that in a previous video but this one is based on cursing around them maybe because there is domestic violence existing in your home and you go in cursing in and out when your kids are around and you use words they're not supposed to use for example the b word the n word and all those things are things that children pick up especially quite young age you see time comes when they start using it on other people they disrespect people on the street and they say those things you know as we have a saying that this charity begins at home but what a child learns from the house it takes it outside and if you as a parent don't stand as an example for your child these are the things the kids tend to learn and then use it on other people or even you so please do as do try as much as possible not to curse around your children the next topic we're going to be talking is punishment I know this I know people have different reservations for signing punishment some parents actually think it's it's not nice to punish your kids like like um, scold them or let me use the word flog them but I mean beat them but the thing is it's very essential in up in child upbringing you can't always have to just be mild with the child or always just ignore the thing the child is doing that is wrong you have to find different ways different constructive ways to punish the child you might not necessarily need to beat the child with a cane but there are, now there are different forms of punishment like for example like in african culture our parents have different ways to punish their kids like they kneel you down for a couple of hours or they ask you to pick pin and sit on the air like different ways parents cause such punishment uh, so you there are different ways you can punish a child depending on the gravity of the offense of the child and there is something i want to actually draw the attention of parents when it comes to punishment it's very important parents should have something in the back of their mind when they're punishing the child which is to correct the child but most parents punish children and don't actually correct them you just scold the child, you just flog or beat the child and at the end of the day the child actually doesn't learn a lesson from the punishment that has been made out to him or her. So in the in the process of finding out punishment, try as much as possible to send out the message to the child why the child is being punished, what he or she did wrong, why he should not repeat it, and also try to encourage them to like have positive characters instead of going back to do the things they've done wrong. There is this thing, um, African adage that says you flog a child with the right hand and you cuddle the child back with the left, which is you punish the child and then you also cuddle back the child, like pamper the child. That way the child will feel love, the child will feel the reason why I was punished was because I did something wrong and I have to try not to do that again. And it's because my mother and my father actually care about me and they love me that's why i was punished most parents carry out punishment in a wrong way that children end up feeling that it's because they hate them that's why they're being punished so that is all for today see you in my next video